What's good guys, Prince Sports here. So, the Clippers lose to the Knicks. The Clippers got four future Hall of Famers, and this may go down as one of the biggest clusterfucks in NBA history. Four future Hall of Famers, and y'all may fail this season and may not win an NBA championship. This goes to prove any team that has James Harden, the James Harden effect, is doomed to lose. James Harden is not a winner. James Harden is a loser. James Harden does not better your team. He does not upgrade your team. If anything, he downgrades your team, especially at this point in his career. There's nothing that that guy does on a basketball court that helps a basketball team win. He's a choke artist, and he's just a flat-out loser. He may not be a loser in life in general in terms of making money and being successful, but when we talk about basketball and winning, those words... Winning would never be associated in the same sentence with James Harden. He is a loser by all standards. Okay, He is an underachieving so-called superstar, and he will always be that. And now you're going to plague your virus onto the Clippers. Because Russell Westbrook is another guy that's a natural born loser. You can't win with Russell Westbrook or James Harden. You got two cancers, Los Angeles Clippers, and you can't get rid of them. And your other two cancers... Kawhi and Paul George can't stay healthy. Okay? These guys can't stay on the basketball court if you paid them. And this is going to be a big clusterfuck. Now, losing to the Knicks is not a bad thing. But at the same time, this was your first game, James Harden, on the Clippers. You're supposed to send a message. You can't beat a non-title contender team like the New York Knicks. You may make the postseason, but you're going to go down in the second and first round. And everybody's going to be pointing the finger, looking at you, James Harden. And then you're going to take a lot of criticism, and you're going to demand a trade once again. So I see this experiment with the Clippers, a one-year experiment. That's not going to go well. You're going to lose. Everybody's going to be pointing the finger. And I'm going to be sitting back laughing at this fake title contending team. This is another fake title contending team. Because I don't believe in nothing that the Clippers are selling. Okay, the Los Angeles Scrippers are flat out heart, go heart garbage. All right. Another fake title contending basketball team. You saw the Lakers uh, lose to Jamie, uh, Jamie Butler. I mean, since he had that change now, now it's Jamie Butler. But, I mean, hey, you got beat by a WNBA player. <laughs> Let me stop, man. But, um, yes. James Soften and the Los Angeles Scrippers will once again be exposed this upcoming season. They're another fake title contender. When you pull back the layers, even though it's early in the season, there's not too many teams that's really title contenders. You know, Um the Bucks may be one of them. The Nuggets are definitely one of them. But it's not too many teams that's true title contenders. I think the Celtics are one of them that's a true title contender too. And um, But some of these teams out West, they're not really as good as it looks on paper. And some other teams may be more title contenders than they are. you know. And I'm not even completely sold on the Phoenix Suns too much. I mean, I think there's a lot of pretenders more than contenders, even though on paper it's a complete different story, right? Because on paper, every team in the West is stacked. And by the rules of looking at the roster, there's like over 10 title contenders, allegedly. But when you peel back the layers, how many teams are really complete teams? It's not too many. And the Clippers are one of them. Not a complete team. A hot garbage team. Four Hall of Famers that are doomed to fail. Kawhi Leonard would never win the championship for the Los Angeles Scrippers. I'm out. Peace.